Hi, my name's Kerry Badham and I'm really excited to show you today our brand new Mummy and Baby Owl cutter set. We've made a cake over here showing just how effective and adorable the owls look on the side of the cake. Today we're going to show you how to assemble the owls, but on the cake we have used some of our other cutters. Up here we have the FMM More Than a Birdhouse. We've used the impression mat set one to texturize the roof and the other mats, which has a wood grain finish to texture the birdhouse. We've used the FMM blossom set of three and the FMM heart set of four. In the mummy and baby owl cutter set, you have the two owls in two different sizes. And you also have two different cutter strips with the decorations on. You have the belly, the beak, the feet, the wings, and the white parts of the eyes and the other part to use as the pupil. And you have one for each of your owls in the corresponding sizes. When you use your cutters, it's really important that you use modeling paste. And you can make modeling paste yourself by adding a little tie low to your fondant. All I simply do is pop a little bit on my work mat and add it to my fondant by kneading it in. The exact ratio for making modeling paste is a quarter of a teaspoon of tie low to 250 grams of fondant but you can make it as you go along and that way you don't make more than you, you need to use. If you leave your fondant, once you've added the tile over for approximately half an hour, what you'll start to notice is that it starts to firm up. So it's a lot easier to handle and it's a lot stronger, especially if you're going to make a 3D decoration, but it's also easier when you need to transport it and move it onto the side of your cake. So we're going to start off by rolling out our modeling paste. And you'd like it to be about three millimeters thick. We roll it out and we turn it over and you just simply put your cutter on top of the fondant and slide it around. By sliding it around you'll feel the cutter is touching the mat underneath and you'll know that your fondant isn't too thick and you'll have a lovely sharp clean cutting edge. You can just pop that to one side on a foam pad. So now we're going to cut out the, the cute little baby owl. And again, just slide it around. Remove the excess and pop it on your foam pad. So now we've cut out the owls, we'd like to decorate them. Here's my modelling paste that I've already made earlier and I've rolled it out and the reason why I've done this is because it's nice to leave it to dry off a little. I find that it is easier to handle and you get a much nicer clean cut. It doesn't stay sticky or get stuck in your cutter. So I'm going to cut out a small, a small belly. We just pop it through. Really, really easy to use. Do you see how simple that was? And then we're going to give him a little blue beak. And pop that on there. Slide it around just the same. And just pop it through. Okay. Now on the mummy owl, we've got blue feet. So I'm going to cut two of those out. If you make all your decorations and get them prepared all at once, it's a lot quicker when you assemble them and it gives them a little, little bit of time just to dry out, making them easier to handle. And we're going to give our mummy owl a blue beak as well. There we go. 
we finish with our blue modelling paste. Take the green. I'm going to cut out two wings. Just pop it through. Two small feet. And then the larger bedding for our mummy owl. Pink wings for our mummy owl. See how easy they drop out of the cutter? Now we're going to do the eyes. So we're going to use some white for the centre of the eyes. We do the mummy eyes first. In the baby eyes. The great thing about these is that uh, you haven't got lots of little cutters, so you won't lose them. They're all in one place, so there's no hunting around in the bottom of your tool kit trying to find what you're looking for, which can be really frustrating. And now the pupils. We have our two sets of decorations and all I do is attach these with water. So if we start with the, the mummy owl, so I just pop a little bit of water. If you wanted to make this a 3D decoration then what I would say is make it just a little bit thicker, the, the actual body of your owl, and allow it 24 hours to dry because what you don't want is when you stand it on top of your cake that it starts to crush or crumble but you can just use a little bit of fondant behind the owl to support it and it will stay up lovely for you. So, nice and quick for such an effective design. Pop the eyes in. You can have some fun with the eyes. We're going to pop these ones in the centre of the mummy owl, but you can have some fun with the eyes. You could cut the pupils in half and make them look like they're half asleep, or you can make them look as if they're cross-eyed or boss-eyed or whatever effect that you would like to create on your cake. I've got the beaks. So you can pop the baby owl down here and it's, it looks as if it's looking up at its, at its mummy. Pop 
some wings on. It's nice to put some whites in the eyes so it looks as if the light is actually catching the the eyes the owl's eye and to me that always brings it to to life a little so some little white balls of London which can be quite fiddly but once they're on the trick what you have to remember is that the light of the eye will always be in the same direction no matter what way the eyes are looking you can decorate your bellies of your owls in lots of different ways you could put little spots on if you wanted to you can put stripes on but what we did was we just popped a a flower in the centre. So we have the FMM Blossom Cutter. This is the largest one. I just popped it out. Very nice and easy. And then what I used was the, the pupil of the owl's eye. It's cut out a centre. So for the baby owl we have a pink centre. And for the mummy owl we have a white centre. We do hope you've enjoyed our tutorial today. This is the FMM Mummy and Baby Owl Cutter Set.